in the last lecture we have seen that uh, operation of the gradient operator on a scalar field function so this is the field of potential this is the field of the temperature here temperature is maximum darkness uh, represent basically to the maximum temperature here dark spot basically represent to the higher potential so when we take the these potential and this temperature is a scalar and this area basically represent to the temperature field here represent to the um, potential field so when we take the gradient uh, of this scalar field function we get the uh, vector quantity and similarly for uh, similarly from here when we observe the operation of the gradient operator on this potential oh, we observe basically a, a vector so what was the meaning of this uh, result uh, so basically the vector quantity represent to the magnitude and direction so if you suppose you want to the uh, take the gradient at this particular point of the temperature we are basically getting the uh, magnitude as well as of the direction and direction represent to the higher temperature so this is the uh, physical meaning of the gradient operator at temperature and that potential at in case of potential suppose you take the gradient at uh, this particular point so the you can basically measure the potential at this particular point and the direction of that will be towards the higher potential so interpretation of the gradient operator when it operates on a, any scalar field function basically this shows the di direction basically indicate to the higher values and then after we have seen the operation of the divergence operator and uh, we take the divergence of any vector uh, field whether that is, is electric field or magnetic field so we observe some The mathematical result this divergence of the E is uh, we have seen that was a scalar quantity that means magnitude only if I take the divergence of electric field at this particular point if I take the divergence here at this particular point if I take the divergence at this particular point so that observation will be different at every point in case uh, I measure the divergence here, the result will be positive. If I take the divergence here, divergence will be negative. If I take the divergence of electric field here, so divergence will be zero. So now this mathematical result, uh, result is positive, result is zero or result is negative. What basically uh, we can interpret basically from these results? from these mathematical results so uh, from this physical picture this meaning is very clear that this is a positive charge electric field lines basically are emerging from this and this behaves like a source so electric field lines are coming outward outward is uh, used in reference to this closed surface and these electric field lines travel in, into the space and these electric field lines basically reach up to the negative charge and travel into this space till that they cannot find this negative charge so this behaves like a sink uh, the electric field lines are converging here so when I take the divergence here at any point on this surface I observe that my result is negative it means the uh, characteristics of that field is basically defined through the result here the flux will be inward here the flux will be outward so emerging and converging so when I get uh, the result zero it means uh, total electric flux uh, through the surface which I have chosen here that is basically equal in amount uh, uh, to the uh, input flux the flux which enter through this open surface are equal in amount which are coming from the other faces of this 
open surface but in these two situations uh, electric field basically this is a source from here electric field lines are coming outside so we are just measuring that here in this situation electric field lines are entering through this uh, closed surface so divergence is negative divergence is positive but in this situation where our surface is open the electric flux basically enter through this and coming out from the other phase so that is equal the amount of the electric flux which enter through the one phase is equal to the amount of the electric flux from the second phase so that's why total divergence that will be equal to zero and this was the physical meaning physical interpretation of the two operators first was the gradient operator second was the divergence operator and gradient operator always operates on the scalar field function rest of the two divergence and curl operates on the vector field function now in our case the vector field function are electric field and magnetic field so we have seen the observation of divergence when we take the divergence of electric field or magnetic field at any point so we are just getting a scalar quantity just only magnitude but on the basis of that magnitude basically we have to interpret about that uh, field the nature of the field the nature of about the uh, electric flux and magnetic flux that is coming or entering in uh, through the surface so with the help of these two mathematical operators we can define that and the third one is the curl curl of the vector fields so it is not uh, necessary that uh, the electric field lines are from the charge uh, suppose this is our positive charge so these are the electric field lines if you see carefully these are in a straight line form near to the charge but these uh, electric field lines travels into the space if suppose negative charge is kept here at some distance from this uh, positive charge what will happen these basically electric field lines travel into the space these are almost uh, in a straight line form but uh, these electric field lines are in a curved shape the electric field line basically away from the positive charge or negative charge are in a curved shape so now how to measure this curl how to measure this curl Curve, curvature is not a uh, right word but how to measure this curl this is basically curl these are the electric field lines and these are similar to a curl like this one so how to measure this for that purpose we use this operation of the curl operator in case of electric field we will write e in case of magnetic field we will write p so what is the interpretation of the curl operator when this operator operates on any vector field function in case of del cross e what will be the result and what will be the physical meaning of the this result when we take the curl so curl is a vector operator basically that shows a vector field's rate of rotation so with the help of this we can find out the rotation of the field and their rate and in addition to the uh, direction we can find out the uh, magnitude also so curl is a vector operator that shows a vector field rate of rotation and uh, the basically the direction of the axis of rotation uh, and the magnitude of the rotation so del cross e basically is a result of this del cross e will be a vector and we know vector have direction and magnitude so what will be the direction of 
that uh, rotation and the magnitude at any point so it is a vector product of del operator with the vector field function measure the vector field's tendency to rotate around a point so that basically how much is rotating the rate of rotation so this is the physical picture of the field uh, this is basically in case of ampere's law this is a current carrying conductor and uh, magnetic field basically develops around this current can conductor in this way so here basically we can use the curl del, del, del cross b this we can found the rotation rate of rotation of this field with the help of this curl we can find out the rate of rotation of this vector field basically magnetic field so with the help of this operation with the help of this curl operator we can find out the rate of rotation of this field direction as well as magnitude at any point we can find out the magnitude at this point p1 we can find out the magnitude and direction at this point we can find out the magnitude and direction at this particular point or at any point into the space where we observe that particular field so from the curl basically we are just measuring the rate of rotation of that particular field how to write mathematically this uh, curl operation on any vector field function so for that purpose I, we are writing here uh, this vector f that is a field function f1 is field component along the x axis f2 is the field component along the y direction f3 is the field component along the z direction where these i j k are the unit vectors so how to define this curl f mathematically so curl f is equal to del cross f you have to use this arrow because in the paper I have already bolded but it is not appearing in proper form so I am marking this arrow so curl f is equal to del cross f so how to write basically this mathematical formula in a proper way so first of right this is a, de uh, a determinant in the first row basically for the unit vector i j and k second row for the partial differentiation with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z and third row basically this for the field component which is given correspond to that field so for f f1 f2 and f3 are given so we are writing here f1 f2 f3 now you can expand it about i then del upon f3 upon del y minus this del f2 upon del z I then after this minus j leave this column leave this row so this operation del f3 upon del x minus del f1 upon del j plus k this is the minus plus minus plus k the expansion of this basically so now for this uh, with respect to this k leave this row leave it in this uh, column so del upon del x into f2 f2 upon del x minus del f1 upon del y so this is the expansion of the curl f so if uh, any vector field function is given in terms of the component f1 f2 f3 then you have to write those component here if suppose f2 is not given in case so f2 is equal to 0 then you have to write 0 here 
if f1 and f2 is given then you have to write only these two then time f3 will be equal to 0 if there is no k component in this case so you have to make sure basically before solving this mathematical formulation first check the component of this vector field how many component is given one two or three or all these three are given then you have to write all these three here if only one then you have to write only one if only two any two f1 f2 or f1 f3 or f2 f3 any two then you have to write only those two so this is the mathematical process to solve this uh, curl lap and as a result you will basically what you are getting you are getting just a vector quantity in the direction of the rotation and what will be the direction when you will find the result what will be the direction uh, here this uh, basically this field is rotating about the x and y this is the y axis this is the x axis and this one is the z axis so you are taking the curl of b this is your b which is rotating this field is rotating about x and y axis in this plane x y plane in the magnetic field is rotating into the x y plane so the result of this del cross b the direction of this result will be perpendicular to this plane so z will be the direction so this will be the axis of rotation of that field z axis will be the direction of this result and magnitude which you have find out mathematically so uh, now uh, there are two important points what are those two important points first when curl f is equal to 0 that means there is no rotation in the last case you have seen hurricane type of example or any type of rotations in case of if we are con uh, talking about the electrodynamics here so we have seen that uh, magnetic field lines from ampere's law so when there is no rotation it means del cross f is equal to 0 so what will be the name what will be called this f f this field function is said to be irrotational when this result is equal to 0 it means there is no rotation of the field uh, irrotational field when curl f is equal to 0 and when divergence of f is equal to 0 this f is equal to 0 here this curl f is equal to 0 if divergence of any vector field function is equal to 0 so you have seen this example where is the divergence 0 when you are using open surface and the flux which enter through the first phase is equal to the is equal into the amount which are coming from outward direction so from the other phase so that means divergence f is equal to 0 so it is like a solenoidal so this field basically is known as solenoidal so there are two more scientific words here in the operation of these three operators they, when curl f is equal to 0 that vector field function is known as irrotational and when the divergence of any vector field function is 0 then that field is known as solenoidal so these are the two uh, more properties two more important points in the operation of next point uh, will be of uh, two basic uh, theorems Gauss divergence theorem and Stokes